Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am going to be testing out the Makeup Revolution and Tammy Tropical Twilight Palette. Well, it's been out for a while. I've always wanted to pick it up. Ever since I saw it, I just, I was just kind of on the fence about it. So we're gonna test the shadows out today. It does have 20, 28 stunning shades. A mixture of matte shimmers and pressed glitters. Take a beautiful beach stroll with the rich matte neutral tones and mesmerizing matte sunset inspired colors. So I thought this was this palette was really unique, gorgeous. I never picked up the first one that she came out with. It does have a beautiful mirror. So the palette does look like this. And as you can see, the some of the shimmers are like spongy. Looks like three pressed glitters. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these for you guys and then we'll go ahead and create a look. The first shade is called Dawn, super buttery. Matte blending shade. First, all the first row is matte, by the way. It's just a real tan shade. Next shade is called Sand. And this is a really true sand color. It's right there I love this shade this is gonna be a good blending um, crease color for me okay next is called tanned definitely darker this is reminding me of like a coffee kind of shade cool tone brown next one is called sundown and this one is a like a burgundy these are so, so buttery, you guys. Like, honestly, if you have that, um, the original Jacqueline Hill palette that was with Morphe, y'all remember how buttery those shades were? I love that palette. This is reminding me of that. Next up, we have Dreams. It appears to me to have, like, just a faint amount of shimmer or something going in it. It doesn't really translate in the swatch, but... So it's very similar to this one, just a bit deeper. This one we have is Horizon. This one is, again, in the red family. Let's see that one. And the last one in the top row is called Coconuts. And that one is this one right here. Wow, I am really impressed with these packs. So that's that first row right there. What I really like about this palette is that she set it up to be very user friendly. The whole top row is neutrals. Then you have your more neutral shimmers right here, your browns, more muted shimmers. And then you have your brights and your bright shimmers. So it's very easy. I'm not that great with color, working with color shadows. So this, I'm excited to use this because it just seems so easy. This whole section right here seems to go together. The warms are to get grouped together. So, all right, second row, we have the shade Blow. So I will describe these um, shimmers as like a super shock shadow. The way they feel, they're just very bouncy in the pan. Cream, I guess you could say. It's just like a very champagne uh, gold. Next to that is Sunrays, which is more of a yellow gold, I would say. Then next up we have Sunset, which this one doesn't feel as uh, cream. It just feels like more of a, like a regular eyeshadow shimmer. But look at that, that is a pretty orange has like a bit of a gold sheen to it. Very um, multi-dimensional. This is, this is Firefly. I wanna get up close so you guys can really take a look at it. All of the multi-dimensional glitter in there. It has orange, it has green shimmers and like some dark green, almost looking black shimmers. Okay. Wow, on camera it looks a lot different than it does in person. It's very shifty, so I hope you can see. In the light, it's like a bright orange, and then in the shadow, it's a green. So that is really cool. See how it turns to green when it's not in the light? As soon as it hits the light, it turns orange. The next one is called Afterglow, and from swatching this one yesterday, I really did like this shade. It's, a, it's like a pink fuchsia, but it has gold shimmers in there. Next to that is Promises. I would describe this one like a jade green, muted green. 
swatched it has a lot of glitter, like gold glitter in there. One, and then next to that we have Candlelight. So that is the second row. The third row we have Dusk. And Dusk looks like a nice mustard yellow. Look at that. Like a nice mac and cheese mustard yellow. Okay, next up is Sunrise. And this is an orange. True Love. Next to that is Mojito, and again, this is a very muted green. Nightfall, that is a navy blue. Nightwalk, which is right here, looks like a teal green. Last one on that third row is called Twilight. This one is a tad more pink. This one has more purple to it. So on the last row, we have Moonlit, which this again is a cream type of shadow. As you can see, it, it just comes off like a nice pink. Starry Night is like an emerald green, but it has a lot of gold glitter in it. Not even really glitter. I guess it is glitter, but it's like a gold sheen to it. So let's swatch that one right next to it. It's night sky. This one is very creamy in the pan, so this is more of like a sky blue. Then we have ocean. Ocean is a very deep sapphire like blue. Have Eclipse and Eclipse is that last shade. It's like an eggplant purple, but it's not really a cream. Look at how creamy it looks though. It's not like one of the spongy creamy shadows, but it does come off very creamy though. Alright, and then I'm gonna go ahead and swatch Starlight. This is oh, this is just straight up silver glitter. That right here, that is, that is crazy. And then the last glitter in the palette is called Cocktails and this is a bright fuchsia pink. Okay, my look today is just gonna be very simple because I wanted to film a contact video today and I need my eyes to just be kind of plain for that. So, but I do plan on filming a couple more videos throughout the week with this palette. I have some more Makeup Revolution palettes coming in. They had a sale on their palettes. It was like buy two, get one free, or buy three, get like two free. It was something crazy and their palettes were only like $8. So I did pick up a few and they'll be coming soon, hopefully by the end of the week. And then we can definitely film some of those. Let's go ahead and dive into this palette. Um, I do have my primer here. I normally use my e.l.f. primer that is just like just sheer, but I want these shadows to really like show up. So I'm going to use this one from ColourPop, it's a white concealer and it's in Fair 00. This is so good. I made some coffee and I put mocha syrup, vanilla syrup, and I did put a chai tea chai tea in there and it's so good. So I'm just gonna go into a bit of sand right here and I'm just gonna kind of go right in the crease with that. It's like a camel color. So I think I'm gonna go with a very orange, yellow orange crease, like a sunset look. So I'm gonna go, I'm going into dusk, which is right here, that yellow. I'm just gonna set that all around my entire lid, right up here at the top, cause we want that to really peek through at the top of the look. Wow, the yellow looks really good. very beautiful yellow shade. I was gonna go with like a purple um, outer corner, but just looking at these blues, y'all, the blues are so pretty. Y'all, I think that white concealer really did the trick because you can see that yellow is gorgeous. So we're gonna go into a bit of Sunrise. 
And that's that orange shade. I'm just gonna pack that right underneath that yellow. Take a bit of sundowns, red right here. It's like a red orange. And I'm just gonna go right underneath where this orange is. It's like the same tone, but a little bit more red, as you can see. I'm gonna get a tad deeper and I'm gonna go into Dreams, which is that very cool toned brown right there. And I'm just gonna out deepen up this outer corner right here. I'm just taking this brown maybe like a third of it the way in. Just to kind of see it smoky a little bit. That is a really pretty blend right there. That yellow is so intense on camera, that's crazy. Let's go into a glow right there on the edge. Going with this um, flat brush. This shade is um, like a creamy formula. Ooh. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go in with my finger just a bit. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of blue. I know I said I wasn't gonna do any color, but I just can't help myself. I'm actually gonna use this one. It's kind of like a green. This one at the bottom right here. All right, so we're taking Starry Night. I'm going to just pop this on the inner corner right here. Drag it down a little bit. We're gonna go into Dreams, that dark brown shade. And I'm going to smoke that out with the orange sunrise right there. All right, I'm taking that yellow and I'm just gonna go right around the red edges of everything. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and go off camera, put on some liner and lashes, and I'll be right back. So this is the finished look for today. I really like how it turned out. Love that pop of green on the inner corners. And the shadows really blended out really well, you guys. Um, this is probably like the most seamless blend that I've been able to achieve and it'd be so easy like it wasn't hard the shades really just blended into themselves like i'm loving the gradient you can see each color individually like it didn't get muddy at all and the shimmer really pops um and i didn't end up wetting the brush with the shimmer so i can imagine it's going to be very intense once you wet it so far, I'm off to a good start with this palette. I'm in love. It really reminds me of the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. Like I said, like that buttery matte really reminds me of that, but the shimmers are in here are probably, I would say, better. Better variety, and you got so many options to choose from. You have glitters, which I didn't even use today. I probably will use that in the next look, so definitely stay tuned. I'll do another look with this on my channel for sure. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Definitely give me a like if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!